This is calculator question number 28 from practice test 6, which is also the April 2016 SAT. College Board gives you a word problem describing points on a number line, and they ask you which absolute value equation describes those points. So the points on the number line are both three units from the point with coordinate negative 4. So we want to be 3 units from negative 4, which would be 3 up is negative 1, and 3 down is negative 7. And we want one of these where negative 7 and negative 1 both make the equation true. So negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. Absolute value is positive 3, so that works. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Absolute value is still 3, so that also works. So it looks like A would be the correct answer. If I try choice B, negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. Absolute value is positive 11, which is not 3. Here if I try negative 7, negative 7 plus 3 is positive 4, which does not have absolute, oh, which does have absolute value 4. What about negative 1 plus 3? Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2, which has absolute value 2, which is not 4, so that did not work. Negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Absolute value of negative 10 is 10, which is not 4. So that does not work. The only absolute value equation that describes both points is choice A. Alternatively, absolute value means the distance fr from 0, or if you shift it left 4, the distance from negative 4. And the two points with a distance of 3 from negative 4 is exactly what are described by this word problem. But I prefer to just draw the um, number line and find the points from the word problem and then check that they work in the equations. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.